from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is APTV. Welcome to APTV episode 487 for Thursday, April 20th, 2023. This week we have news, updates, butterflies from Esterbrook, a sea of diamine inks, a contest winner, a new contest, plus verdigree from Pilot, fresh fruit from Twisby, blacker black from Platinum, and season celebrating sailors that are coming soon. Hey Lisa, what shape is always found in junkyards? What? Rectangles. There's a reason I skipped banter <laughs> this week. You don't want banter? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this week's uh, location bumper, we have the Stone Arch Brew Pub. Uh, Stone Arch Brew Pub was built in 1858, coincidentally the same year Esterbrook was founded, by Anton Fischer, a German ing immigrant who also helped build the Fox River Canal system. That's cool. The brew pub was later sold to the Walter Brewing Company, uh, then to Adler Brow, becoming Wisconsin's third brew pub. The first two would eventually close leaving Stone Arch as the oldest brew pub in the state. I had no idea. I know. It's a cool building. It is a cool building. It is fun. Tomorrow, Friday, April 21st, is National Big Word Day. Big Word Day is all about words, specifically coming up with new large words to keep the English language alive and well. Hmm. Are you a sesquipedalian? <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> Did you have to look that up? I've, I've been really struggling trying to remember how to pronounce it for the last <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, good, good Yes, yeah, sesquipedalian. Okay. Person who likes big words. Okay. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> if the whole point is to come up with words to keep the English language alive and well, wouldn't you do better with shorter words? Just uh, I think we have. We've eliminated most vowels in texting. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> All right, and then Saturday, April 22nd is Earth Day, first held on April 22nd, 1970. Wow. Hmm. It now includes a wide range of events coordinated globally by EarthDay.org, with over 1 billion participants in more than 193 countries. The official theme for 2023 is Invest in Our Planet. Excellent. 1970. Yeah. That's I, every year I hear that, and I think that's, wow. I forget that it's been that long. So, And you know, the only thing that sticks in my head, the Coca-Cola song. The Coca-Cola song? I'd like to, to, I don't know why that, that and Earth Day just. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, just this long line of people together. It's just my thing. Uh, and you know what's, you know what's. Uh, <laughs> you can cut just, that, Justin. I'm just, no, we're not cutting that. We're just going to move right on. <laughs> Uh, do you know what happens two weeks from today? Uh, I get up and have coffee. Uh, well, you might. Two you weeks will. from today? Two weeks from today. We do this again? What will we be doing two weeks from today? Drinking coffee. We will be on our way to the Chicago Pen Show. On a Tuesday? Uh, it's a Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> today is a Thursday. <laughs> You know, working from home, I've completely lost my sense of where the week goes. Really? Yes. I'm, yes, in two weeks. You're going to drive to the Chicago Pen Show? You're coming with. Am I? Yes. Of course you are. Are you going to allow me to supervise? You can supervise. <laughs> Chaperone? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Come around. You're going to end up sitting What are you home. doing at that table over there? Get away from there. Get away Don't from there. Don't take his money. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we'll in two fun. weeks, yeah. yeah. And, and we will be there uh, as attendees, not, yes. as, not as vendors. So. I am super excited about that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun going as a... As an attendee. I don't like that you like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fun because, you, you know, you can, you can casually talk with people and you can walk around. You don't have right. to stand in the same spot all day. And watch your table yeah. And, and, yeah. So, so, it'll, be, it'll be very interesting. So, awesome. Very good. And uh, we'll talk about the pen in my pocket later. I know what it is. I know. You, do. you looked, you I looked did. at it, yeah. What did one wall say to the other wall? I'll meet you at the corner.
These are gorgeous. Well, they're, they're sort of just in because we've, <laughs> we've sort of talked about them um, inadvertently a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the Esterbrook Butterfly Book Holders. Uh, a handy little friend to keep your book open and your hands free to write, sketch, and create. The perfect size for any journal. These book holders are built to be as beautiful as they are functional. With dazzling enameled wings in teal or yellow, there's a butterfly for everyone's desk. And, and they really are quite something. You know, I'm trying to get it in the book here. Um, I wasn't sure what to think when they came out with the very first one. I'm like, really? Book holders? These are cool. Look at how pretty the teal that is. is pretty. The teal is to pretty. Um, keep your journal open on your desk, to keep your planner open on your desk all day. No. I totally think I want the nice, blue one. It's got a nice brass for back my planner. on it. Yep. Um, these are beautiful. I also like the um, the little nibs There's that nib, they yep. have, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the butter for the, um, the bee. bumblebee is so cool. Yeah. yeah, I really do like the the rose gold that one. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. No, I think the, the teal, teal is gorgeous. The yellow is, is lovely. It's got your little shades of orange on there. It's very cheery. It's, it's very, very summery. Sunny. Yes. So um, keep it coming, Esterbrook. These are so, cool. Excellent. So those are just in. Also, just in, we have some uh, new inks. So, uh, this is this is kind of a long time coming. Uh, I, I I meant to check how long it's been since long we actually ordered this. It, 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 it could be going on a year. Um, ordered these a long time ago, months and months and months ago. The order got lost. Hate it when that happens. It literally it, it got lost. It happens to almost every company, so it's it's yeah. not a, a um, personal knock, but you know we, we like, got box ah. one or two, and two or two never showed up. Ever. Uh, and then there were some problems, uh, computer system crashes, and we had to reorder. And But they're here. So we have um, new Diamine inks. I love these bottles. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have the new, the rest of the, the new red edition. So if you, if you notice, we only had two bottles of the red edition. Um, so frustrating. So, yeah, cute, cute uh, bottles with the little feet on them. Uh, and these are a combination of some of these have sheen, some of them have shimmer, some of them are labeled as standard, but they're they're nicely labeled on the uh, the label. So if it has sheen, yeah. it says sheen on it, which is this says shimmer and sheen. Yeah, so it's not always evident uh, if it has sheen on it, sheen in it, but uh, it's nice that it's on the label. So we have the the rest of the red edition inks. Um, there are a couple more regular eighty mil bottles. Uh, and ironically, they're both purple. They're both purple, yeah. I got scribble purple. And uh, Mondoto's hat. I'm not sure who Mondoto is. It sounds like an 80s song. By AHA, maybe? <laughs> or something? <laughs> Devo. <laughs> Devo, all right. Um, and then, then there's all, uh, uh, what are there, seven new Shimmer Tastics. Uh, Peacock Flare is one of them. So there's some really, really nice ones. Starlit Sea. Um, and I didn't, I didn't pull them all out, but Dragon Blood. Ooh, which is another what got a a cool gold, name. gold shimmer. I want that one. Sort of like Rider's Blood with shimmer in it, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, we're, we're just, just getting these up. and uh, so Sampling there's, them out. Yeah, there's a 20, what is it, about 30 new colors of ink. That'll be fun. So all, all new and uh, samples are going to be coming soon. These are cool. These are very cool. Um, do you use shimmer? I have not ever put shimmer ink in any of my pens. Really? I'm about to turn the page on that, though. What shimmer ink are you going to put in your pen? Uh, actually, in, in I'm, which pen? I'm thinking of using, uh, I've got a bottle of Shogun. Okay. That I've had for a long time. Okay. And uh, I just need to find the right pen to put it in. Okay. So. In Chicago, pre-COVID, I used to do, I would sample up some of our inks, and one of them was a shimmer ink, and I put it in my metallic blue sailor. Um, Pro Gear Slim that had a broad nib. Oh yeah, that's a perfect perfect yeah. choice. Yeah, it, it should be a, it should be a broader nib. Yes, absolutely. Um, so that you, know, you get you better flow and you get actually some shimmer. Lisa, this week we have a spotlight for <laughs> Lamy soft cover notebooks and. <laughs> I'm just being sarcastic today. No, I'm not. <laughs> we have we have we're. we're Talking showcasing, about the showcasing, you know, yes. a couple of uh, some interesting things. So yes. this week it's it's the soft cover notebooks from Lamy, uh, and they come in. Uh, I don't know. If you want to read that? I'll read it. Doesn't matter. You read it. I'll read it. Great. I'll play Vanna White. <laughs> the Lamy soft cover notebook has a matte finish cover with a color matching, convenient elastic pen loop. 
a flat pocket inside the cover and two bookmark ribbons. So you've got yes. one there. Uh, the Lamy Notebook features 192 pages of ink resistant 90 GSM blank paper. Uh, the opening page has a space for name, address, and phone number, and the last eight pages are perforated for easy removal. Which is really handy. Yeah, and so by blank, actually, it has what they call the Lamy ruling, so it's not really blank. Oh. Um, uh, so this, actually, there is one that is blank. There is one. And that is so blank. probably this description was taken from the blank one. Okay. Uh, they come in several colors. Um, and the only one that is actually blank is the black. Okay. Um, but the black also comes in your um, Lamy ruling, which is really cool. Which is, uh, it's like a, it, it's sort of like French ruling, but it's like a dot, it's lined, but then it has It's very grid, similar it's to the Profolio Oasis journals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but a little more pronounced. So this is a little darker. Um, so in some ways it's easier to see. So you can use it for your, your lettering practice yes, with, the, with, the, with the, gr the graph there. Yes. Uh, whether for appointments, ideas, or as a personal journal, fans of the Lamy brand are now able to record their thoughts in a matching notebook. Uh, they're available in a variety of colors and designs, matched to Lamy writing instruments and in A5 and A6 sizes. The paper is really nice. Um, we had one open in Chicago that we used as a tester for a year and a half, and it's it's actually really nice paper. Whenever a pen company comes out with a paper product, our first question is always, is it fountain pen friendly? And um, we've been very, very pleased with this. Yeah, I guess I never, I never thought they, these are the colors of the safaris. So you yeah. have your, your pink, your white, your blue, blue, your green, your green. There's a black. There's a charcoal. There is a charcoal. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's I, I didn't, I didn't even put two and two together <laughs> until this very minute. So, um, but soft cover, and then of course Lamy also does make um, the hard cover. Hard cover, and then they make what I thought originally when I when I saw this were the three packs of the booklets of the booklets, which are right. also a soft cover. Um, That's notebook. more of like a cardboard cover. This is is definitely. This is this is pretty. It's it, it's a little it, bit bendable. It is a little, but but not, it's not. You know, you, you can't bend it in half. Yeah, it's not super super flexy. Right. What lights up a soccer stadium? A soccer match. We had a contest from last week. Did we? We have a contest every week. We do have a contest every week. All right. Uh, last week's APTV, what is your favorite take out into the world with you pen? People take their pens out in the world? Uh, they're crazy. What pen do you throw in your purse, book bag, briefcase, etc.? And what is yours? Every one of them, probably. No, actually. No? Um, Retro 51. <laughs> okay. Rollerball. All right, all right. <laughs> In case anybody needs to borrow a pen. Uh, probably Pilot Vanishing Point, and I am a big fan of my um, Pilot Stella. Like, yeah, yeah. Used yeah. to be Stella, then it was Stargazer, and now it's gone. Yeah. I have one, and I love it. So the um, responses ranged from the Pilot Kakuno, Kaweco Spr uh, Sport Brass. That's a good option. Um Pilot Customer Rushi Vermilion, <laughs> really? Um, Twisby Mini, Kaweco Lilliput, Lamy Safari, Pelican M405, Twisby 580, Monteverdi Tool Pen. I could see that. Mm -hmm. I carried one of those in my purse for years. Um, Pilot Decimo, Twisby Eco, Pilot Vanishing Point, Twisby Vax 700R, Parker 51, Mont Blanc 149, oh. a Twisby Swipe, Pilot Metropolitan, Pilot Prera. And many yeah, others. Yeah, so I, I I usually have a vanishing point. I usually have several vanishing points with me. When we did shows, uh, you always carried two or three vanishing points. It was a necessity, a necessity. Points. Just it's so easy to click and, and go on those. Um, it's just, you know, sometimes you just, you got a piece of paper in one hand, you want to write a note down, you don't have to deal with this uncapping thing. Right. So, um, but uh, we had some comments. Uh, Arabella Holtzoffel. Uh, happy birthday last week, Eric. I'm lengthening your celebration. Nice. As for my go-to go-out pen, I generally go with a Kakano. If I bring something nicer, I find myself constantly checking to make sure I still have my pen, and that's no fun. Good point. Uh, agreed on that one, yeah. Um, remember the time Kim lost her pen? Kim and Steph both yes, lost both have lost sailors at restaurants. And yes. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. Oh, well. She's not watching. 
right. <laughs> they have they have lost sailors at restaurants. Yes. Yes. Here in Appleton, so yeah. <laughs> Appleton is a real good hunting ground for for sailors at local establishments. If you're a server, there you go. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I think it's Juliana. My daily companion is a Kaweco Sport Brass, usually filled with some blue or brown ink. I am not scared to throw it in a bag. It writes reliably, reliably, and it has a nice weight, which is great for writing, but also helps me to find it in a bigger bag. Yes. As opposed to the plastic versions that occasionally get lost. Yeah, that's a pretty bomb-proof pen. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I would say is throwing it in your bag. If it's the literal throwing motion, yep. it's gonna it's gonna spit out some ink into the cap. But yeah, that thing is that's nice. Uh, Phil Norden says during the school year, in my uh, my bag always includes my pilot custom Arushi Vermilion broad nib filled with a Schaefer Inferno red. I go through students' work with it every day. No, it doesn't make grading papers a joy. <laughs> Nothing does. But I appreciate the feel of the Arushi in hand, and the substantial heft of this pen works well with me. In June, it gets a well-deserved summer break until August, when I know it will be eager and ready to go again. Me too. Laugh out loud. Nice. So, very nice. Uh, Marilyn Gardner says, for carrying fountain pens out and about, I always have two of the following with me. Twisby Mini, Kaweco Sport, Shown Design Pocket 6, and or a vintage long short pen from Sailor, Pilot, or Platinum. Brian, I'm watching your vintage mailers for mm. more. It is a problem, isn't it? Um, I like to keep smaller pens in my bag. Very nice. Yes. Uh, Jane Pilecki says, I'm glad to see you are carrying the Pelican Twist. It is a, it's a great pen. I love that thing. I have more than a few because they are great. And so much fun, and they are really reliable. I use them as everyday carry pens. Cool. Other throw-in-my-purse pens are the Lamy Safari and All-Star and Twisby Mini. They are inexpensive, very reliable, and great pens. Uh, yeah, I do love that twist. It's really a big Is fan. that what you would big like fan. for our for anniversary? anniversary coming like up in Like 700 of weeks? them. Maybe. No, it's, uh, it's a great pen. It's, I already have one. What? I already have a twist. The you tester. Do? Yes, it's the tester. Oh, okay. It's a great pen, solid pen. All right. And it's fun. It's just a fun, fun pen. You, you can't help but look at it and just smile. Do you need a moment? No. I'm just... <laughs> no, that's great. Good for you. <laughs> that's nice, honey. <laughs> I try so hard. I know. <laughs> I'm still stuck on what to get him for an anniversary present, so... Uh, James Mad Chemiker says, so far, only my Lamy Safari has made it out with me into the world, in part because I have run over my computer bag with my car once previously. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, oh, Safari's no, a good choice. A good choice, wow. good choice, yeah. Ow. Um, we have a winner. Woo! Uh, winner name, uh, Nicholas Adams. Congratulations. Uh, and Nicholas says, thanks for the updates and the fun. It's a weekly appointment. I visited an Italian friend who made certain to carry his Aurora Hastel all the time. That's a pricey pen. He lamented the dings, but why not? It's very cool. So I have been trying to carry carefully the special pens I have recently in Omas, Tokyo, and Oof. often a Mont Blanc Noblesse. The latter seems indestructible. And, well, you can't take them with you forever, so why not take them along now? Very good point. Um, yeah. Yeah. A little wabi-sabi is not, not too bad. Do a little mark on there or something. Okay. Well, yeah. I guess that – so um – Nicholas, uh, congrats, and write to eric at eric at andersonpens.com. And, and along with that, this is sort of a segue from... I know, that was good. It was really From good. if you're taking it out, what happens if you're Steph and you lose your or, sailor? Or Kim. Or Kim. Uh, so the new contest is, or the new survey, what is the nicest pen you've ever broken? I guess lost is sort of, yeah. This is kind of almost in the same same vein, but broken. I guess broken, yeah. Dropped. I'm trying to think. I know. I don't I, you know, know that it, I've ever broken a pen. Never dropped a nib in the sink. And I melted a pen in the ultrasonic once. That counts. What was it that? It was a store pen. Yeah, which one was it? I don't want to Do say. I know about this? What was it? <laughs> it was a sailor. Oh, it was a sailor. <laughs> The um, it was at the end of the day in Chicago, and the ultrasonic um, oh, it malfunctioned. Didn't turn off, and so it. This is why we tell you not to get an ultrasonic with heat, because the agitation of the water it made it get hot, and I just assumed that you know in the next few minutes it would turn off. And I came in, and the section had kind of melted. Yeah, 
So well, I had to send and, and, it in. and ultrasonic will generate heat the longer it's on. So yes, even if you don't have the heat on, you do have to worry about that. And yes. this thing just didn't shut off, and it was yeah, it was defective. Uh, I think we, I think it, it ended up in the garbage can. The not, ultrasonic, not the pen, the ultrasonic, yes. yeah. The pen went back to Atoya, which sent yep. in, they sent yep. it back to Japan. Um, I don't think I've ever broken a personal pen. No, I don't know. I have you? I, I not one you've rep you're repairing. Oh, I, you know, I broke one on APTV once. Did you? What did you break? Um, we had uh, Eric and I were talking about vintage pens, uh, okay. or we were, it was either um, APTV or it was the Sunday brunch, and I had an oversized balance. Okay, Schaefer balance, and it's a lovely pen. And Eric was looking at it, and then after the podcast, I went to go. I was going to actually fill the pen up, and I lifted the lever, and the lever just snapped in half. And it was just complete random luck that it happened. Mm. Um, it's still sitting on my workbench downstairs. Yeah. But it's a great, great pen. I can't. So watch me go home, and You'll find three ten. things will fall off my desk. I cannot think of a pen I've broken, broken. You know, I mean, pens break during repair. I mean, so there's... Always, you know, snorkels or vax right. or 51s right. or whatever that have broken over the course but of time. But personal pen. Personal pen, yeah. So that that, that balance with that one, that one kind of hurt. Uh, I will get it fixed. I've got a lever for it. I've got actually a new barrel for it. It'll probably be easier. But. And, you know, we had several Targas that ha developed lip cracks over time, but that wasn't like... Yeah, they crack on the barrel. Broke, yeah, they crack... Broke while barrel, in yeah. use or in hand. That's just one of those. And, and actually, some of the ones that we had were new old stock. So right. when we opened the box up, that hadn't they been were. used. The, the pressure on there's a there's a uh, an insert for the threads that goes inside the barrel, and then it over time has put too much pressure on, it and it cracks the barrel. Right. So, but we didn't do that. So no. These are cool. The Pilot Custom Seven Forty Three in Verdigree. So why are you so excited about this? Because this is the first U.S. exclusive color for the Pilot Custom 743. Our sales rep is giddy about it's this. It's like the first U.S. exclusive for anything in a long time. A long, long, long time. I mean, I, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to say it's the first ever, ever, ever because I don't know, but we've never had a U.S. exclusive anything. Not that I'm aware since of. Since we've been doing right. this, so... Um, so the U.S. exclusive Pilot Custom 743 Verdigree um, has a gorgeous green resin body with a gold-plated clip and trim. It's got a 14-karat gold nib that is a number 15 size. You think it matched this? No. It wouldn't match this? No. It'd be close. No. And available in <laughs> extra fine, fine, medium, broad, double broad, and falcon. Um, the Pilot Custom 743 has the same body size and shape as the Pilot Custom 823 that everyone is familiar with, but the 743 uses a Con 70 converter or a Pilot cartridge, um, both of which Pilot does include, and it comes with a full bottle of ink in that really cool bottle that design cool bottle, yeah. in one of those big um, satin lined boxes that the Custom 823s come in. So. Cool that it was, it was super cool that we got the 743 that came out, especially with that number 15 FA nib. Uh, and, then and then this, this boom, is so, right so after. close after. Uh, it's kind of a neat color. I, I like the green. It's, 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 it's not shy. Um, I but think, it's not electric green. So no, it's, it's, it's kind of a happy, springy. It's, it's a pretty green. Yeah, it's, it's a real pretty really green. Nice. It's going to be a nice color. And so. we will have these next week. We'll have them next week. Actually, okay. maybe even this week. Maybe even this week. Excellent. Uh, Speaking of next week. Oh, I'm so excited about this. this next this. week? Uh, the Twisby Diamond Mini AL Grape. Maybe that'll match this. I'm trying to match things. This is more blue. Uh, it's very bright. It's very bright. It's, the, a, it's a bright purple. I'm uh, excited. The Twisby Diamond Mini AL Fountain Pen in Grape features a clear acrylic body, cap and turning knob, silver trim with a bright purple aluminum section and piston unit. Um, it would go real well with the shirt, it probably. It would, actually. Uh, the pen fills via piston uh, ink filling system and boasts a smooth writing steel nib and screw-on cap. The cap of the Twisby Diamond Mini AL fountain pen screws onto the end of the barrel to post, which is a I super do cool like idea. That. And the clear body allows the user to view the level of ink remaining in the pen at all times. 
Much to Mrs. Anderson's chagrin. Yes. Which is the note on here. And you don't like to see the, the ink uh, level? You I, don't like transparent pens. I don't like clear pens. You don't like clear pens. I don't. Even if it's like a little ink window? Because then I'm going to feel like I should fill it all the time and keep it full. It's just a It should th- be like a challenge for you, like to empty the pen. I'm married with children. How many more challenges do you want me to have? <laughs> <laughs> okay. struggling <All> right. <laughs> to uh, not uh, refill my pen when I'm down a little bit is probably more than I can handle on certain days. Um, no, I just, I like a surprise. Okay. <laughs> I, I <remember laughs> it's that. probably <laughs> not that kind of surprise. It's probably an unpopular opinion. Most people don't want to be surprised when they run out of ink. But for me, it's just, I, I don't want to see it sloshing okay. around. Because then I also will be like a lava lamping it all the time. Just okay. saying. So there you go. Uh, we also have <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. I don't know where to go with that. <laughs> Therapy. Um, uh, a new ink from Platinum. Uh, and I, I, I might butcher this. Cho Kuro. Cho or Chow. It could be. Ink. Uh, so this new fountain pen ink is the blackest ink ever created from Platinum. Um, in its 104-year history. So is it the blackest ink in Platinum's lineup, or is this the blackest, blackest, blackest ink on the planet? I'm sure they would say it's the blackest, blackest, darkest black ink in the planet. Um, It is blacker than black, as they say, and it's 46.8% darker than Platinum's famous carbon black. Uh, This new Platinum, uh, permanent ink from Platinum, is going to set the new standard of what is possible with permanent black ink in the fountain pen market. Uh, the first 1,000 sets will include the Cho Kuro bottle plus a silver converter, 250 milliliter uh, bottle of purified water for cleaning, a cleaning eyedropper, and an instruction manual. And then subsequent shipments uh, will only include the bottle of the ink okay. uh, in the standard packaging. So, uh, and, and I think it should be mentioned that, you know, you. you Carbon black is, is one of those, those inks that really requires uh, some maintenance yes. associated with it. This is definitely going to require that. It's not going to be an ink you want to put in a pen and then just leave. You want to use it for a specific purpose or a specific length of time. Then you want to make sure to clean it out more Clean it out more thoroughly regularly. and clean yep. it out regularly. Yep. So yes. uh, they're going to, that's why apparently they're giving 200, it's a big bottle, 250 milliliter bottle of cleaning. Uh, of purified purified water. water. So Okay. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see what that looks like. I mean, well, it's going to be black. Blacker than black. 46.8% darker than carbon black, which I think is it's pretty black. Pretty damn black. And it leaves a, actually, it leaves a little bit of a film, too, yeah. uh, in the inside of your, your bottle or your, your yes. ink sample vial. So um, this will be interesting. If you, if you need a permanent dark ink. Black, black, black. This is it. This, this, this could be it for you. So this is coming soon. Uh, and, and those thousand sets I know have already been already been pre allocated, so I don't yes. know don't know how many we're actually going to get, but uh, we should get some. Yes. But uh, that'll and be then the subsequent shipments will be the same price. Um, but just in the regular and just the bottle after that. Bottle. So the first thousand sets um, get all the extras. All the extra stuff. Yep. Cool. All right. One more coming soon. One more coming soon. Um, Sailor Pro Gear Slim Solar Series, the Solar Term Series. So Japan observes the changes of time with celebrations for the spring and autumn equinoxes and the summer and winter solstices. And so they have come out with four new pens. The Fuki honors the vernal spring equinox with a uh, light green body and soft khaki colored finials. Uh, that bring to mind budding plants. Um, taco, it's with a K. Taco. <laughs> with a K. I can get behind this one. <laughs> <laughs> Represents the summer stol- solstice with a faded rose-colored barrel, complemented by cream finials inspired by the octopus, mm. traditionally eaten on this day in hopes of an abundant growing season. I had octopus. You did, and yeah. maybe taco is not going to be yeah. your I, It should be like tan with like brown. And maybe a little orange and green. Yeah. That would that, be, that'd be great. Okay. Um, Haji captures the spirit of the autumnal equinox with colors inspired by the autumn bush clover, uh, a soft sakura petal pink that is capped by this really pretty seafoam green finial. So I'm excited about that one. 
And yuzuyu is the essence no, of no, a no, yuzu yu. yuzu citrus <laughs> bath, which is a remedy that is said to ward off colds during the winter season. Um, with a really pretty turquoise blue barrel with um, this yuzu yellow finials. Yuzu is a citrus fruit. Okay. So it's sort of like lemon. Um, and so these are adorned with gold-plated accents, the 14-karat gold sailor nib, and they come. Uh, the nibs are available in fine, medium, fine, and medium. Great. And Pro Gear Slim. So it's Pro a smaller, Gear Slim, smaller, the smaller yeah. with the 14-karat gold pen, uh, nibs. Yes. There you go. Great. Cool. And, and those are the nice looking colors. So it'll be interesting to see what those look like uh, when they come in. Um, I think some of them are in there. They're, they're more solid colors as opposed to some of the other releases that are a different color cap and a different color barrel. Is it the finials yes. maybe a, a little bit different color, but that's such a smaller percentage of the old, total overall pen that I think it, it works out. What we didn't mention here is that these are slightly shimmery. These have yeah. just a teeny little Ooh. bit of shimmer or I don't want to call them glitter, but they have a little bit of sparkle. Sparkle too. Um, yeah. Definitely not as much as like the purple cosmos or some of the or, or some of those, but just a little bit of Starburst Galaxy. A sprinkle. I'm excited about those. Awesome. Cool. I think that's it this week. What about your pen? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. I'm just trying to get fired. Uh, you can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hey, Brian, what's and in your yes, pocket? Yes, <laughs> we do have a pen in my pocket, and today... Uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, note-taking. Uh, this is my uh, DuPont uh, Defi Vintage, which uh, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately they don't make this particular pen anymore and they've actually changed the design, but we do still have a few of the, the older style Defis uh, available. So if you like this cool, uh, kind of like skeleton the look, frame, yeah. the framework to it is, is pretty neat in that clip. So uh, that's what I got today. Cool.